Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a little ramen video for you guys. I am so hungry. I'm so excited. I got my little hot pot. Um, by the way, I haven't had a hot pot in like over a year. And I truly, truly, eh, truly love hot pot. Like absolutely love it. So I wanted to try it out at home okay so we're gonna be doing that today okay i've got my noodles and then i've got my broth chicken broth i've got my mushrooms um i really just wanted to keep it simple i had squid and i had lamb but i'm just gonna keep it real simple and also a little bit of green onion okay so i just want to test it out i got this yesterday um the little hot pot but i'm like so hungry so i hope this heats up like okay. Okay. i hope this works and then i got this cute little bowl I went to H Mart and I went to like this big grocery store that has all types of um, like a European food and just all kinds of different foods, okay? Um, and then here are my chopsticks. Ooh, these are like, I don't know if I can use these or if, our, if I'll have to go get my wooden ones. Guys, it's heating up. Oh my gosh. I need to come back with another light. Hold on. Da, 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 da. This is like weird lighting. Is this a little better? I don't know. Oh, it's heating up. Okay, so we're gonna put the chicken broth in it. Because I've been craving it. I've been craving ramen. I've been craving hot pot. Oh, I was gonna put like um, onion in this. I was gonna put, what else was I gonna put in here? I was gonna put onion. I was gonna put, I'm so hungry. I'm like, oh, I just wanna eat it already. Um, onion, garlic, mushrooms, lamb. Um, like squid I have all of that but like I just want to do the noodles and then I have um, what else do I have um, then I got like mushu chicken so I'm gonna eat like the noodles and mushu chicken cuz yeah so basically what I wanted to talk about in this mukbang ramen noodle video was that I gotta readjust myself um that if you know somebody that's pregnant your fiance is pregnant your wife is pregnant your girlfriend's pregnant your friend is pregnant your sister is pregnant your mom is pregnant whoever is pregnant so we're gonna talk about that and how to treat a friend a family member somebody you know that's pregnant okay like just things to do and things like not to do and I felt like doing a whole series called sister talks so um because I figured that like I always give a lot of advice so yeah but um I've been seeing like a lot of pictures videos of um ladies women that are pregnant and um some that get like a bunch of support some that don't get much support but one thing i want to say is that when a woman 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 goes through pregnancy and goes through birth and gets through birth successfully that is the closest to death that a woman gets okay because pregnancy and giving birth is the hardest thing a woman will 
ever go through, ever endure willingly or unwillingly. But that's a different, we're talking about willingly. Anyway, but how to treat, it's boiling, but how to treat, um, you know, a friend or a family member that is pregnant, like, I mean, this is common sense, but obviously show them a bunch of love, show them a bunch of support, okay? They need a bunch of love, they need a bunch of support. Guys, I love this little pot. Ooh, I can pick it up and it's not hot, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, it's cooking. That's what it looks like. And yes, I'm doing it in my bedroom because I gotta keep an eye on my baby. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna go with the mushrooms. Okay, so we're gonna put the mushrooms in. But like I was saying, Pregnant women deserve all the love, all the support. So yeah, if you have like friends and you're like, oh my gosh, congrats, I wanna see the baby. Oh my gosh, I wanna meet the baby. Oh my gosh, auntie this, auntie that. Did you get diapers for them? Did you get anything to help support them? Did you offer to make them meals in their recovery period? Like for real. How did you help them? Like, here's this woman creating life and it's taking every bit of energy from her. And there's already so much that's being asked of her and demanded of her. And here you come in and say, oh, I'm auntie this, I'm cousin that, I'm blah, 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 blah. But yet you do absolutely nothing for them? No. You, ab you do absolutely nothing for her? No, no. No, I don't care if you're family. I don't care if you're friend. The, no, the entitlement is crazy. Like, oh my gosh, congrats. It's like saying congrats is your only support. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, you gotta show more love than that. You gotta show more support than that. <coughs> Guys. These are the mushrooms so far, but we're gonna keep that in there for a little bit. Let it boil a little bit more. But yeah, um, and then, okay, so while she's pregnant, you know, say congratulations, you know, all of that. Don't be asking when you're gonna see the baby, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Don't be demanding, don't be asking, don't, you know, unless you have something to offer, they don't wanna hear it, like for real. That woman is going through a time, okay? And it's not a great time either, for real. Like, sometimes it's great, other times it's really not. So, unless you're being supportive and 100% like authentic and genuine, don't bother, don't bother. Like, I had so many friends that would be like, oh my God, I wanna meet your baby, and oh my God, congratulations. And then you're like, oh, can you go support my um, registry? didn't even respond but then literally hit you up like a month after you delivered your baby and then was like oh my god congratulations blah, blah, blah. when can i meet her blah 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 you ignored my message when i asked for something and it's not even about asking for something it's literally about support right so she's a mom now she has things to take care of she doesn't want to hear your bs are the noodles okay so I had my birth in a birthing center and I might do a video on um, like the experience and like my birth story okay so I'm gonna let that cook over there I'm gonna go get my Chinese food and put this stuff in the fridge I'm so hungry and I'm not gonna wait for that <laughs> be ready
Okay, so this is the food. This is the water we're drinking. Yes, baby. Yes. Yeah. Stickers. Oh. Mm. Mommy doesn't have stickers, baby. You wanna watch Dobra? Tortilla, burrito, dumpling, whatever. What, what is this? Um, I don't remember. Not tortilla. The heck? Fortune cookie, we need that. Now, cookie? What does this say? Whoa. Dream big and you'll be capable of anything. Dream big and you'll be capable of anything. You want a cookie? Okay. Oh, if you're lucky enough to be there during the birth, congratulations. But, um. Mm. Let's see. I'm not ready yet. But I've got to eat. This is my little bowl, like I said. Um, but yeah, after she gives birth, balloons, cake, celebration, love, warmth, flowers, like literally support, gifts for the baby, gifts for the mom, um, helping out at the house, you know, all of that. Like, pregnant women literally deserve all the love and all the support. Literally. Not to feel like they're too scared to go out. Um, because, you know, there's, there's some creeps out there. There's some weirdos. Um, there's some very jealous or envious people, too. But, yeah, pregnant women deserve all the love that is like the time that spiritually too that is the time that they're in between worlds literally mm, so good so yeah mm, mm. so good Oh yeah, I had to eat. I was getting so hungry. It's like eight o'clock, something like that. And I usually eat dinner early, so. Mm -mm -mm. But, you know, if you are pregnant yourself, lots of self care. Get your nails done, get your hair done, get a massage, you know, yoga, work out, eat super healthy. But really this video is just for like people that are around pregnant people, pregnant women. I'm having like deja vu. I think after I eat, I'm gonna watch Twitches. Cause it's like October, spooky vibes. And yeah, a good time. I'm surprised I'm, I can use these. Because I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more difficult. Let's see, how are my noodles? Mm, mushy. Take the green onion. Mmm. I hope so good. It's gonna be so amazing when like winter comes. 
But yeah, this definitely needs a little bit more flavor. Definitely need to add in that like onion and garlic. And maybe heat that up in like before boiling it. Kind of like heat it up at the bottom of the pan with some butter. Ooh, that would be so good. Okay, that was my little hot pot. I'm gonna finish up my mushu. I'm so excited. Mm, mm, mm. And then I got like an outside grill. This winter is gonna be lit. Mm. But what else? What else? Pregnancy. Pregnant friends, females. Literally take them out. Take them out. Go on walks with them. Go do things with them. You know? What are you doing, Stinky? Go visit them. Bring them food that they like. Take them out to dinner. You know, just show all the support you can. Because a lot of friends like to disappear when pregnant, like their pregnant friends can no longer go out clubbing, can no longer go out drinking. Um, so yeah. It's like if you're a true friend, you're going to be there for your friend. All right. This is so good. I love mushu chicken. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> but yeah. Mm, I love carryouts. Like Chinese carryout. So good. Such a vibe. Such a vibe. But yeah, people like to disappear when a lady is pregnant and then like to reappear once the baby's there and want to be, show no support during her pregnancy. I'm so thankful for the support I received during my pregnancy um, from the people that did support me and showed love and took me out and brought me food. You know, I'm so grateful. And the people that made it difficult or hard or stressful. Uh -uh. So yeah. Mm. I'm like making my wrap while also eating it. This is it, my little burrito. Except it's not a burrito, I forget what it's called. Mm. So unbelievably good. So good. And see, every restaurant makes it different. And I love this. I don't know, it's so good. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna have to redo the ramen. I'm gonna have the lamb and the onion and the garlic. I have all of it, but um, I was too excited, but too tired. I was like, I'm not trying to do all that cleanup. I'm not trying to get all that prep work because it is a lot of prep work for ramen. So that's why I got this. I'll save some of those for lunch tomorrow. And yeah, I'm gonna redo the ramen. <clears throat> like it's so good, but Definitely needs more flavor. I definitely need to like season it up. So 
So I thought that, you know, I could do a little bit of playing. But I'm just so tired, so hungry, so we had to get into the video. But yeah, this was, this video is a little bit of an introduction to my upcoming videos for my sister talks because I feel like we're having dinner together and I love eating with people and like having a good conversation. Um, so yeah. I'm not even like eating dinner with people. I love eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And we're just going out to eat or eating at a friend's house. You know, spending quality time, having a good conversation, giving advice, giving wisdom. Like, I might be young, but I have a lot of wisdom to give. So, you know. Or just topics I want to talk about but yeah tonight's video is like a little bit more calm <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna eat a little bit more I'm gonna clean up the ramen pot and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have topics you want me to like talk about, definitely let me know. Or things you want advice on or wisdom on, let me know. Or food suggestions. Or things to add into my ramen. Or good things to order out. Or go carry out orders. Let me know, comment down below. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.